is back to school. And what does that mean? Besides the fact that I have my back to school skirt on, which is one of my very favorite skirts, and I have to say thank you plant-based diet for letting me still get into my, to my back to school skirt. But what we're gonna do today is all about assembly. You remember assembly, assembly hall. We used to start the day every day with assembly hall. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. Super fast. This is dinner, but it's also a great after school snack. So I used to come home, school, and then sports, and I'd be starving, and it'd be like 4.30, and we weren't gonna have dinner until 6.30 or 7. This is a perfect, nutritious, tide your kids over snack. I'm making sweet potato black bean tacos. This is all about just putting stuff in a taco and eating it. So let's do that. Black beans, so nutritious, so good for you. And I'm just putting them in a bowl. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of tagine. It's basically spices and lime together. So I really like this stuff. Just mixing this together. And then there's my friend microwave. And I'm going to have a little visit with my friend microwave. I'm going to take out my sweet potatoes and my tortillas, which have been warming up. I cooked my sweet potato ahead of time. It's great about a sweet potato. It's like all the other things I like to do. You put your sweet potato in the toaster oven, you go take a shower, you do your homework, you come back, wow, your sweet potato's ready. So there is no magic to a sweet potato except that they're so gosh darn good for you. And don't take off the skin, that's where the nutrients is. I've got three tortillas, just because I know you have hungry kids, but also because this recipe has a gazillion varieties. So I'm going to do sweet potato and black bean, but you can also add corn, you can also add jalapeno peppers. Uh, that's my black bean calling my name. So we're gonna make a couple different versions of the same thing. And that's, that's the extent of our cooking. We're just going to now start assembling. How easy is this? Green onions. So anytime I can, I'm just gonna chop them up here. Anytime I can, I add greens. I also have Italian parsley here. So while I'm not having a salad today, every opportunity in life is a chance to get more greens. So I've washed these, of course, already, but I like the ends even more than I like the heads. And that's really what I'm gonna to chop today, is I want these greens in my taco. Now I've got my parsley, which I'm also just gonna, you see that beautiful Italian parsley? I'm also gonna chop that up. I like it chunky, it doesn't have to be too fine. I mean, I do want my personal taste here. I do want my taco to have a salad feeling to it. So I like it heavy on the greens. And of course, I'm also going to start slicing my sweet potato. So if you really wanted to add more flavor to this, you could of course slice your sweet potato and kind of pan fry it. But I like to have no oil here, so I'm not doing that. I baked my sweet potato, I opened a can of black beans with some tagine, I'm adding, for me I like jalapeno pepper, but you don't have to, just add some greens. For me it's green onions and parsley, but it can be whatever you like. The basis of what I do always is a little El Tapatio. Uh, thinking onwards to the fall, this Halloween, my boyfriend and I are going to be competing Tabasco sauces. So I think he's gonna be El Tapatio and I'm gonna be El Maria. Yeah, so look for us as competing hot sauces. Okay, so I like to just give the floor of my tortilla lots of hot sauce because that's how I roll, but you know, if that's not for you, no big deal. I bring on my sweet potato, and like I said, I'm keeping the skins on, and then I bring on my, this is all about assembly, folks, assembly hall happening right here. Ooh, that bowl is hot. Okay, so these black beans now have, not only are they hot, but they have, they're hot and they're hot, because they have tagine in them. So, a little bit of spice going on. Now I gotta tell you, I never said that this wouldn't be a messy recipe. Uh, when I bite into this, it's just not gonna be pretty because I tend to, I'm a little bit gourmand with it. I tend to overload my taco. Can't help it, I just want more green onions, more parsley, more black beans. Uh, okay, so now I'm putting on some parsley and some green onions. La -la. Okay, so we got protein, we've got fiber, we've got greens, we've got spice, we've got taste, we've got fast. Great after school snack. Now I'm gonna make myself another one. I'm one of those 
those people that really prefers corn almost raw, that's when you still have the nutrients in it and um, you can like flash fry it. Like you don't even, you, it would be going so fast, you don't even need oil in it. You could put a little bit of water in a frying pan, get the water boiling hot, put the corn in, shh, shh, take it out. That's all that corn needs. So you really don't want to overcook it by any means. Now, of course, again, if you're just trying to be super fast, which we all love the idea of that because kids have sports, kids have homework if they're doing it. So you could always have frozen corn. That works as well. Now I'm gonna make version two of the same thing. I'm gonna layer up my sweet potato. I was turned on to adding corn to my sweet potato black bean taco by a friend of mine, Derek Sharp. He is a truck driver. God love him, driving across America and decided that he wanted to get his health back in shape and he has started a plant-based diet. So I've been sending him some recipes and I sent him the black bean sweet potato uh, taco recipe and he said, well, I had some corn so I threw it in and I was like, okay, now you are a chef after my own heart because ultimately these recipes are all about you. So if there's something else you want in it, add it. If you want corn and jalapeno, Add it. If you don't, don't. If you don't like green onions, don't put it in. If you want American parsley instead of Italian parsley, do that. So uh, this is really like all my recipes. It's all about you. It's all about what works. It's all about what's fast. I am going to give myself some jalapenos because these recipes are all about you and these recipes are all about me. So in goes the, the jalapeno. And then I forgot to put my Tabasco on the floor of my tortilla, but whatever, no problem, just moving right along. And then of course, I still do want my green onions and my parsley, I'm just loading it up. This poor tortilla can only take so much. Okay, so now is the moment of truth where um, I'm about to get my school uniform all messy. I actually had uniforms when I went to school and the uniform looked a lot like this at uh, Catholic school. Okay, so this is basically the same skirt I wore <laughs> as a kid. Okay, oh, the moment of truth. Are you ready? It's gonna be messy. You ready? Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. You know, the greatest discovery for me when I went plant based with sweet potatoes. Somehow, when I was eating meat and dairy, I just kept eating the same things all the time. And my world was actually a very small place. And when I got turned on to plant-based, my world became a very large place. I had forgotten about things like sweet potatoes, eggplant, peppers, I mean, things that I never really had. Oh, I had a side salad here and there, but I basically stuck to the same things. It was actually a very boring routine. So people ask me all the time, oh my gosh, as a vegan, what do you eat? And I think like, oh my gosh, as a meat and dairy person, what the heck do you eat? But the same stuff all day long. So a huge rediscovery for me was sweet potatoes. And a shout out to Derek, because I like the corn in this. This is good, I'm gonna have more. Uh, but you can put whatever veggies you want. The base is sweet potato and spice up your beans a little bit. Maybe I won't eat on camera again. Oh heck, what the heck. More for me, okay, mm, okay. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. That's the end of today's after school snack. I told you to be fast. Of course, as always, all these recipes are on elizabethalfano.com. That's E L Y S A B E T H.com. I still have Tabasco on me. Elizabethalfano.com. All these recipes are there. Please share them with your friends because as your kids come home, and they're super hungry, don't give them chips, don't give them pretzels, give them something like a black bean sweet potato taco, you can make the sweet potato the night before for them. All I have to do when they come home is take out a tortilla, take a can of black beans, take the sweet potato, add some Tabasco and whatever greens if you have any in the house. If you don't have any, it's okay. You can still do just a black bean sweet potato taco with some Tabasco. I hope everyone's having good back to school. Good food will get you through. Bye everybody, thanks for being vegan.